sit back, relax. Let's get to know Zobo. What's up, man? Chilling, man, chilling, you know. How you doing? Hey, just being me. 2020? 2020. So far, so good? Yeah. It's only like three weeks in, but uh, <laughs> everything looking up, though. Everything That's looking it, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything looking up. Everything. So now we have to start from the beginning. Now, Zobo <laughs> is a stage name. Yeah. What other stage names have you had? Uh, Write them down. From from, from all, way from back. From all time. <laughs> from all time. Hey, A.B. Sweets. A.B. Sweets. <laughs> what was A.B. Sweets? Uh, A.B. It was like, uh, what was it, Cool. I forgot that name. I know. Yeah, I mean, one with Fresh in it. Everybody had yeah, it. I'm trying to remember <laughs> the name, though. That, that one was, was in high school. <laughs> So, uh, so like cool with a cool cool breeze, cool, cool breeze. breeze, yeah, cool breeze, A B. <laughs> I, I had every variation. Yeah, like, the G, the Tony, the Tony, Tony G, G, the Tony, yeah, the, the Royal T, all of it, yeah. man. Yeah. So, so now I've known you for a long time. Yeah. Now this is, now, you're you're uh you're doing comedy. Yeah. But, you didn't start out in comedy. No. Nah, we nah. came up in the same neighborhood. Yeah. And you started out like I did. Yeah. And hip hop. Yeah. Before it was called hip hop. Before it was called hip hop. It was called b boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 It was like that damn loud music. Yeah. They didn't like it. The bass, <laughs> right? Yeah. They didn't like. They didn't like that bass. That bass was there. They so, didn't like it. So now we liked it. They we liked did. It. We loved yeah, it. We loved it. Yeah. We, we thrived on yeah, it. Yeah. I took that bass to Oklahoma when I was in the military. I took it everywhere. Like That's it. they ain't know nothing about that bass. <laughs> now. We're not only from the same neighborhood. You can, you moved to that neighborhood. We all we all came up in Claremel, mm -hmm. Palm River, that whole area. area. Yeah. But you know we went to school together. Mm -hmm. And then the story we were just talking about, about, we bumped into each other because we both joined the military. We both joined the army. Yeah. And tell <laughs> tell the story how we bumped into each other. Yeah, all right. I'm in a... Location. Location. We're at Fort Sill. Not Fort Sill. We're at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Known as? As Fort Lost in the Wood, Missouri. Misery. Misery, yeah. Yeah, it was, mis <laughs> it was misery. Tell me humidity. Tell me humidity in Florida. Oh, Summer of... Ooh, 87. Hotter than... Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm and I'm in a line. I'm in a, in a child line. And I look up, and I see Tony G. But we can't say nothing to each other. We can't move. We got to be like this. So we just did the eyebrow like, like what's up? <laughs> you know, what's up? <laughs> it was crazy though. You and know, so, like. But. And somehow through that, I actually was able to decipher that your brother was there too. Yeah, Dexter was there. Yeah, Dexter. Yeah. Who was all, we all went to school together. Yeah, so Dexter was there. You were there. Yeah, yeah me. You, we couldn't talk. We couldn't say nothing. I was on my way out. Yeah, we was on our way in. Yeah. We just got in. So I couldn't even warn you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't warn us of nothing. I, mean, I, gave, I gave you potato. Yeah. <laughs> gave yeah. You mashed potato. Yeah, yeah. We we wasn't warned. It was like because I was working in the child 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 hall, right? Yeah. So I was I was working it. That was my detail for the day. Did, did, yeah. And you came through. Yeah, we came through. They came and the drill sergeant they was on us too. They 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 Oh they don't let you talk. Yeah, they 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 was they they was on us. Now how long were you in? I just did three years. Three years. Yeah, yeah. Did, did my three years and got out. Yeah, that was crazy. Man. Yeah, we, I tried to get out earlier but they wouldn't let me go. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, you now you work uh with the VA. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So it's like that's I mean you kept still working kind of with the military no, with that kind of No, no, nah, nah, man. It it took me like forever to get when I found out that I could go to the VA. Yeah. I've been out like 15 years already. Oh, wow. I didn't even know nothing about a VA. So then um my godfather like, "Man, you go to VA be seen for this and that, this and that." I said, "I can go there." I said, "Yeah." I said, "Where is it?" I ain't know nothing about a VA. So then I went and signed up for some jobs, but it took me about maybe at least a good seven years to, eat, to actually start working there. Damn, and you've been there for a while too. Yeah, I've been there almost, isn't almost it, 19 years now. Isn't it weird that like you did the work, military work, mm -hmm. you get out, they don't tell you where you can get 
we get the help that you already paid for. They don't tell you nothing. <laughs> they, the thing about one thing about the military, and I'm gonna say this: they use you. Oh yeah. They use you. You go there. You're proud. You do what you can do. You fight as long as you're strong enough to do what they want you to do. They cool with it. But as soon as you get broken down, they want to kick you out. <laughs> and when they kick you out, they don't care about you no more. They don't care. Yeah. They don't tell you about where you can go get help. They don't <laughs> nothing. You know, it's just like they just throw you to the wolves. Oh, you go, man. Yeah. <laughs> you keep the uniform, I guess. Yeah, keep yeah. The name tag. Yeah. And the uniform got too tight. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about comedy because it's like you know i've been doing comedy for a long time mm -hmm. and then you come in you know we were chatting yeah this is like a, this is a few years ago now. yeah about three years ago about three years ago mm -hmm. and you decided i'm going in yeah and you came in and you came in hard yeah you came <laughs> a little too hard yeah, a little too hard yeah they couldn't <laughs> they couldn't handle like that but the thing yeah. is it's like you came in like the way we we approach hip hop, right? Exactly, and that's and that's that's my thing because it's all about entertainment. But I couldn't decipher like you know you had to do something different. It's yeah. different. It's entertainment, but different type of entertainment that. So you were learning the process, right? And you know how you go in. You think every, every when you go in, everybody think, oh, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. But you know what I'm saying. A lot of people, including yourself, well, I ain't gonna say a lot of people, two people. <laughs> they, gave, <laughs> they gave me, they gave, two people, you and Sloan, they gave me, y'all gave me some advice at the, you know what I'm saying, at the beginning, and I didn't even know Sloan. Yeah. I didn't even know the man. I just like, I'm saying, I'm in about maybe four or five months, and you know, he pulled me to the side, you know, and he, he talking to me, you know, and they, they give they give you a, give me advice, and you, I respect it. Yeah. I respect the advice, it's you know. A lot of, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh no, they, they look at me like, oh, you this, you that, you that. I had to be like this, but at the same time, if you gonna come criticize me, yeah. they, I got to respect you for you to criticize me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, you can't just come to me and tell me to do this, and you in the same boat as I am. Exactly. You you didn't go through the, through the rough times of going going through the ranks. How you like? That's like somebody a newcomer yeah. trying to critique my work, and you just did been there yeah. during the two weeks. You can't critique me, yeah. but now if you've been through that, and I know that it's genuine that you're telling me that, and because you can, you got a lot of haters that gonna tell you the wrong thing. Yeah. Well, I yeah. listen. You know, you've been in this long enough. I got to listen to you. I'm not gonna sit down. Oh no, 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 I listen. And now, it's only been three years, mm -hmm. but you you went ahead and you did like we do in hip hop. You started your own thing. Yeah. You started your own thing. Yeah. How many? Uh, how many? Uh, like. Shows do you got going right now? Like you, right now I got like two, and that, and I say two now because I done slimmed down on a lot of them right now. Cause so I'm you trying kinda to doing right. I want to concentrate. I want to concentrate on really just something that just like one little thing, one little, and it turns out to be big. Yeah. Cause when you're doing different different sets and different, cause I was doing Avon Park, and I had one that got one in Coconuts last Sunday. I was doing Lakeland. You know, then I do shows here and there. Now I got this one right here, the open mic. At, uh, it's called Papa Bear. So this is so okay. So you got a you were doing uh, some shows, mm -hmm. basically like showcase Put, shows. put together showcases, yes. Like at coconuts, that's coconut comedy coconut club. Coconut club, it's right? A small club on uh, on the beach, St. Right, Pete. Right. Uh, but aside from the showcases, now you started this. This is an open mic. This is an open. It started not as an open mic. So this is starting out as an open mic, right? And it, and it, and they pay me the win up each open mic, one with the best set. They give them give them a little cash in their pocket. So there's there's a, a prize for you know best set of the night. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you said they're paying. The bar is. The okay. Yes. So so let me just I want to be clear. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. Because I I don't hear this very often. Yes. And this is the right direction to go. Mm hmm. But you sat down with the venue, mm -hmm. you worked out a deal, mm -hmm. they're letting you do the open mic here, mm -hmm. and they're also putting up a small cash prize yes. to the best comic of the night. Yes. These are amateur comics. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah. I want to hear that right. <laughs> Where are we at? Papa Bear, Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Yes. This is off the of 50th Street uh -huh. in Tampa, Florida. Uh -huh. It's called Papa Beer. Papa Beer. Pop beer. Beer, Popo beer. Yeah. Well, you know, I like that name. Yeah. That's very, I mean, that's like suggestive. You know what I'm saying? Go get your beer. Pop, Pop one. Beer, man. Pop <laughs> beer. 
So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, it, it is. And um, and like I said, it's in Tampa, Florida. Pop a beer, and it's 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 um, like I said, the owners the owners want to get people in there, and and the thing about with the open micers, the the, the for them the, the comedians to come and do it is is incentive for them to come. Yeah. You bring your people because the the judges is we pick three people out of the crowd. Is it like random? Random. Oh, okay. And they're, they're the they're judges. judges for the night. Right. Okay. All right. So nobody don't know who the judge is going to be. Yeah. So you can't kiss up to the judges. Yeah. <laughs> so a secret. Head. They don't even know. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. So this is a little bit more right. interesting. Right. And, and I'm not the one to pick the judges. Yeah. So the, the, the bar picks the judges. Yeah. It's up, so it, it could be the bar person. It could be anybody. Okay. Before I get there, I will pick somebody to go, hey, go pick out three people and tell them, hey, you'll be a judge hey, for the night. Isn't that? So they don't even know who it is. So you can't kiss up to Well, now me. are you buying the judges a drink at least? What do they get a they get a drink out of this? No, I'm sure to buy it. I'm sure to buy it. Look at the bar. Yeah. We'll let the bar handle it. Yeah. Because they was doing, actually they was doing a little scratch off. Thinking about doing a little scratch off for a raffle. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So That's cool. They were thinking about doing that, giving away a scratch off during the end of the night. So. Yeah. So that so you want, so you're looking for this to grow. Now, do you want to keep this as an open mic and then have a separate comedy show, or are you looking to evolve this from the open mic to a show? I want to keep this on Mondays as an open mic. Okay. But I want it to evolve into a regular show. You got to walk before you crawl, so it'll probably be a monthly thing first. But if it start kicking, it, or I'm going say if, when it start jumping and a lot of people start coming in, yeah. we can change it to a weekly show. Well, let me ask you this. Let me go back to your comedy. Mm -hmm. How would you, how would you describe your comedy? Because, uh, just naturally, you already know people assume. Yeah, they when they see the name Zobo sixty nine. This, this is gonna be urban comedy. This is gonna be whatever. I actually can. How do do you categorize it? No, I don't, cause I don't do shows everywhere. You're funny, you're funny. It's that I don't, don't believe in uh, when that people are urban, urban. I, I don't went to Zephyr Hills. Yeah. I don't went to the villages. I'm about the only person of color in these places, and I have them dying laughing. And well, I don't, also, let's be clear. A lot of times when you perform, you do wear a cowboy hat. Yeah, I do. That's my style. That's, that's <laughs> different right there, man. Yeah, that's my that's, style. That's yeah, throwing yeah, them yeah. off. Yeah, man. yeah. That's, that's that's. I want to be different. Yeah. I want to be different. Yeah. Everybody come up the same way. I want to be me. Now, me, even when I was in high school, you know, I was different. I was just like, well, I want to be different. You're a storyteller. Yes. And to me, it's reminiscent. It's very much kind of in the same vein as, uh, like, you, like, see, yeah, like Tracy Morgan. Yeah. You ever see Tracy Morgan perform? No, although, I never although he's that. really dirty, but right. he tells right. the stories. Or uh, even like uh, Richard Pryor, right? Richard, Richard Pryor, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's like, it's. I think it's closer to that. Your style? Yeah, my style. I say about Rich. I say Red Fox, kind of like Red where Fox. or Bernie Mac. I put myself with Bernie with Mac, Bernie Mac. Yeah. Or, but Bernie Mac coming, he just like you don't know what he gonna say. Yeah. But he got a story to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. He you know? takes you on a little journey. Yeah, yeah. yeah and and, cool. and I like to tell the, my my way is like. Keep people in suspense. Keep people in suspense. Yeah. And then they want to hear what's going to happen at the end. Exactly. Like, wait, yeah. wait, wait, what happened? And then hit them with like, oh man, he doesn't. You don't went there, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> I. Now, how far do you want to take the comedy? Like you on stage? I want. I to be honest with you, man. I want. I want to be. I want to be the one sitting up here and like we're doing coliseums. This 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 this, 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 what I want. This, this, you know, you know. Okay, yeah, I like this. Man. Yeah, you know, I you got to think big, you know, and I, I believe I can do it. You know, it's, it's just like you only could do what you think you can do. Yeah. If you only think, okay, oh, I, I like this. Oh, there's a lot of people been doing this longer than me. And now I see them is doing open mic. Yeah, that's because that's all they think about. I still got. They don't see people. themselves going further. I still see people, man, and it's it's funny that. Oh, I think I got ten minutes of. Material, I'm like you've been doing it like five years. You only just got ten yeah, minutes. Man, like, yeah, and I'm like, man, I got book loads of stuff, but I don't. It's a lot I don't say because when I do say it, I don't like it. Well, let me ask you this: <laughs> some things you didn't think you could do, some things maybe you didn't think it could be. Did you think you'd ever be a grandfather? 
No. Nah. <laughs> and I got like eight of them. Damn. Yeah, like, eight is enough. He, he, I know my son, my youngest son, he just like, he wasn't stopping. Like, he had like four. Like, <laughs> and I'm looking at him like, okay, I gave you condoms. What, 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 what you did? What, well, throwing them up with balloons, throwing them around with Because <laughs> you wasn't using them. They were just for the party. Yeah, for the some my, helium in them. The my youngest daughter, she, she got two. Man. My oldest daughter got two, so. But that's a ride, man. I mean, you got that. You got that far. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah no. Um, well, let me ask you this. I mean, all these things. You know, you got dealing with family, with the kids, mm -hmm. grandkids. That's and that's a whole lot of different stuff. Especially when you raise three of them by yourself. Yeah. I raised the last three by myself. So, well, how do you, how do you basically de-stress and unwind? How do you kind of even yourself out? To be honest with you, I'm always like on the go. Cause as soon as I get ready to chill or something like that go phone call hey uh dad you think you could do this and not even that like when it was going to school yeah it was always an issue like but you gotta unwind yeah. sometimes yeah what it's harder i mean do you, do you i mean to be honest with you comedy me going to the comedy club because sometimes i go to the clubs i don't go to perform when i go to open mics they think oh you, you want to get on the stage no i just go to get away from the real world and, and be in my world yeah. you know and that's what i do i go like i used to go to pegasus lounge i go there not the, oh, he going to the bar to drink. I used to even go to strip club. We go to strip club, look at these naked women. No, I go to strip club, get me a beer or something like that to chill. All right. You know what I'm saying? I so ain't even worry about the women. strip clubs. Yes, the comedy and strip clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> comedy and strip clubs. <laughs> All right, brother. I appreciate I you think, hanging out, man. I think, think, think that kind of got me in trouble a little bit. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, you better keep your dollars to yourself. It didn't cost that much. I'm, I'm like Al Bundy. I kept that one dollar bill. You kept that dollar bill. <laughs> and you put it out when they walk away, you pull it back. <laughs> All right, brother. All right. I appreciate you hanging at the DMZ. All right. I appreciate you having me, bro. We'll be talking to you soon, man. All right. Hopefully we share the, sh the stage again together. Oh, we will. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. Peace.